this is what we're going to be um, making a start on today the turret um, which is this piece here that's the top um, we're going to make that out of uh, another bit of uh, 70 75 T6 um, it's also got to have a bore in it the same as the um, cylinder I'm going to adopt the uh, same procedure I think whereby I'm going to make the uh, turret then I'm going to use the brass as a mandrel to uh, hold it to drill out the centre I'm not going to do these cutouts either I'll do those cutouts while I've still got the mandrel attached I think uh, that's my plan anyway um, so first job is to get it turned down to dimension all right we've got the 7075 T6 in here we've got to machine that down to 52 right the flange is 52 millimeters and the rest of the stock is 32 millimeters so we get it faced off to start with and then I'm going to drill out and put the uh, tail stock in to uh, give it a bit more support and quite a bit sticking out and it's quite a big lump that'll uh, hopefully stop the chatter but we shouldn't get too much chatter on this anyway so let's get stuck in Right, we've got it um, turned down to 32 millimeters here, 52 millimeters here. We've now got the flange on. So this is where we're at. So the next uh, order of operation will be to bore it out, ready to take the sleeve. got to get this bored out to um, 26 millimeters now I'm going to bore it out to beyond where I'm holding it in the chuck um, so then I can uh, part it off and um, you know without having to go all the way through I'll only have to go to the, as far as where I've bored it out so that should give me just enough room um, on the knife the knife should you know go in far enough to part it off but anyway that's that's later on we get this board out now to 26 millimeters yeah I've got to drill this out beyond the length of the flute so as it gets bigger and bigger I have to make sure I keep it cleaned out to get the uh, chips away right let's start
Right, that's as far as I can go with the drill. I got it brought out to 20 millimeters. It's quite hot actually. Um, so now I'm going to have to go the rest of the way with the boring bar. Uh, I'm going to put the indicator back on because I think it's running out slightly because of um, the big drills have moved it slightly. So I'm going to indicate it back in first. Actually, that's not too bad. That's only uh, three microns out, so uh, that will be okay for this uh, purpose. So we'll get the boring bar set up and away we go. Well, I've got a lot of stick out on the boring bar, so I'm expecting a bit of chatter. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. It's aluminium. But anyway, I'm just going to flip this cutter so that it's uh, working from a new cutter at least. I haven't got any um, aluminium cutters for these boring bars, maybe I should get some. Well, the, uh, the parting off didn't go very well, so I decided to cut it off on the bandsaw and uh, I'll face it off. Some people have mentioned how noisy my lathe is, so I've decided to um, put some music over the uh, speeded up bits and let me know whether you uh, prefer the music or my uh, noisy lathe. Just leave a comment and um, I, I can soon stop doing the music if it annoys, but um, just let me know what you want. go there we have it all 
Right, I've just got to make the liner now for the inside. This is the piece, that piece there, which is the liner that goes in there. Okay, I'm going to do it a similar way to uh, how I did the main cylinder. I'm going to cut the brass. Um, yeah, like that bit of brass bar, which I'm going to mill down to fit inside there and then I'll, I'll glue that in there and then bore out to uh, retain the right clearance for the liner. 32mm we're starting off at, we've got to get down to 26 Right, perfect fit. Get a bit of glue on that. Bob's your uncle. Alright, what I'm going to do is do the same as I've done with that. Glue the piece of brass in to there. And uh, then I can use this as a mandrel to turn the bore down. That's, that's the plan, <laughs> anyway. So, I mean, I could bore it out first, but I'd rather bore it out in there because that'll have a bit more mass then. Um, that, that's, that's what I'm hoping. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.